The paintings for me are journeys between the space of the body and the space of the outside. The private and the public, the domestic, the interior and exterior landscape of our society. I'm always hunting and searching for colors. Every painting that's made in the studio is affected by the temperature of the light, the colors of the sky on that particular day. And at night, conversely, the noises of the city, the sounds of cars and trains. My paintings are always made in families. They require this special group dynamic in order to be able to exercise power over each other. Each individual painting can travel through innumerable phases and have many different lives before the final image settles. I don't work with preparatory sketches and the painting is not an execution of a pre-existing idea. I work out the painting on the surface. I don't arrive at abstraction via a direct route. My process is long, idiosyncratic, and often erratic. What appears on the surface is also not predetermined. I work in rapid, concentrated bursts, moving across the canvas and establishing pathways with my body. I imagine myself in flight when I'm painting, hovering over the surface of the painting and searching for a place to land, touching down and lifting off. I do this over and over again until the surface starts to accumulate and collect information. And then months later, I also find myself removing some of these gestures, standing back and erasing parts of the movement to give a space to approach the surface again. For me, I'm not satisfied with the surface until it has accumulated a certain amount of history on it. Sometimes I get very attached to a small mark or a series of colors side by side on one part of the painting. And later as the weeks go on, I realize that I have to destroy that part of the painting in order to move forward. I'm interested in color and how it is attached to memory, the ways in which it can both forge and summon an environment. When I see a color that makes a strong impression on me, I try and commit it to memory. And this always relates to a place and to a story. Spaghetti sauce spilling onto a white tablecloth down in Sicily, or noticing the hair on somebody's knuckles and the intimacy of that observation. There are always figures and stories buried deep inside of my painting. I pull these narratives from my personal experiences and also the experiences of those that I observe around me.